What's up guys, World Stacker here. Thanks for joining. Uh, I'm still here in the Philippines searching for some awesome notes and wanted to show you the latest pickup I got. I got some uh, some cool stuff. So I'm going to start off with these because I don't know what they are. Uh, I got them because I got a really good deal on them. They look like 1949 US Philippines 2 peso notes. And they're in perfect condition. They're uncirculated uh, BU condition. Um, I mean, not not a tear or any, a bend or anything, a fold. And they look awesome. I got a lot. There's only three right here, but the, I got about six more. They just don't have plastic, so I didn't want to get them out. Um, but these... I got them for really cheap, probably a couple dollars each. Uh, and right now, I'm looking on eBay, and the average, these are about eight to twelve dollars, especially in this condition. Um, but I need to learn more about getting them graded with PCGS or NGC because these are actually going for a lot <laughs> um, with MS sixty three and above. I've seen them for over a thousand dollars, so I'm not sure if I'm missing something or if I got a super good deal because these these would definitely grade really high. You know, they're in excellent. I don't think they can be in better condition. So awesome pickups, but at the very least, they're worth eight to ten dollars right now, and I got them for like two so I'm happy with that and like I said I, got, I probably got ten of them but over here yep got me some victory notes here's a they're not in great condition though uh, but they're pretty rare so it's you know it's understandable here's a 20 19 I don't even know what date uh, I don't see a date on there or anything, but I, so I could just assume they're from 45 to 49 or something, I don't know, but they're U.S. Philippines, Commonwealth of Philippines, Series 66 Victory Notes, this is on the plastic, don't worry, um, so the 20 in this condition, not great condition, but not the worst. Uh, they're averaging, it looks like, about 20 to $30 each on eBay for the 20 So I, I got it pretty cheap. Probably 8 or so dollars. But then uh, there's the 100 And this one's got a lot more staining on it. This isn't just on the plastic. Maybe some tear. Yeah, there's a tear or fold or crease or whatever. But they're more rare as well. So the hundred victory note is the second most rare victory note. Um, and right now they're going for in this condition. It looked like in the same condition, it was about two hundred dollars, about one eighty at the very very least. Um, but in a little better condition, I've seen them up to $350, $400 each. So I'm happy to get that. This I got this for like $60, bucks, 60 $60. So at the very least, it's probably worth $180. Now, I, also, I did also find a $500 note, <laughs> but it was almost perfect condition, and they wanted like, eighteen hundred dollars so i don't know you guys think i is that should i get it because it's it's amazing i i want that thing but eighteen hundred dollars well it's not for the faint of heart um i don't know what grade these would get but they're worth something i mean one hundred eighty dollars for this so i got a great deal um and then I got this. I don't know if this is going to show up. I got this from a collector. But it's in insane condition. 
I don't know if that red's gonna show up on camera, but uh, it's it's it kind of looks dirty because of the case or scratch, but it's not. It's I mean, look, it's a 1933M one centavo, so that's amazing condition. It's 65 red brown. Damn light. <laughs> So Manila Mint, 1933. That thing, I just had to have it. It's my first slab coin. Um, I'm actually surprised how small the slabs are, you know? It's my first one, so online they look, uh, I, I don't know. I, I was picturing a lot bigger, but this was tiny. And it's a regular size, apparently. Um, but this is an awesome... Uh, this is an awesome piece for my collection. I love it. It looks a lot better. I mean, I was going to make a video just for this, but I, I can tell that with this f camera phone, I I just can't uh, do it justice. It'll never look great. I even tried taking photos for my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, it's World Stacker. G growing pretty good community there. I started it before YouTube. But yeah, I couldn't get a great photo, so. Um, yeah. What is uh? And right now they're going for similar ones, MS sixty five or so. They're going for about sixty to eighty dollars, and I got this for around uh, fifty from a collector. Of course, I didn't find it in the wild, but. Um, there's a lot of collectors here. That's another thing I wanted to tell you guys is, you know, when I first came here, of course it's the dream. It's probably the dream of every collector to go to a country and search old bins and old black markets or mar local markets or, um, you know, little islands and find extremely rare coins and, and notes that they don't really know what it is. They just sell it for a couple bucks and you end up with a really expensive collector's note. But I just, I'm finding that's impossible. Well, I don't want to say impossible, but <laughs> it's, you're not going to find these in the wild. I mean, there's no way. Um, I've been looking everywhere. I've talking to everybody. Uh, but... The good news is there's a lot of collectors in the Philippines and the economy's I mean it's a third world country what do you, you know it is what it is so these dudes need cash and I mean I'm I'm talking to a lot of collectors around the Philippines right now and they're just sending me constant photos like well, what about this what about this what, you know and uh of course, I wouldn't do that if I was in the States. I wouldn't buy something online from a third world country, some guy I don't know. But the advantage here is I can go look at it. And it's it's really paying off. I've got a ton of stuff coming. I just, I just, uh, I just bought a, well, I didn't buy it, but I, I said I would take a look at a, a whole album that a guy needs money and he's selling it. And it's extremely rare gorilla notes emergency notes and stuff like that from provinces I've never even heard of and uh real rare stuff and I got it for nothing um I mean I'm gonna look at it first but if the if it's the same as the photos are better it's gonna be an amazing deal so yeah uh, even though it's impossible to you know Find those dream notes in out in some uh, pawn shop somewhere for pennies. Uh, this is just as good because you know if I find a metal detector uh, coin that they found somewhere, it's not going to be in this good condition. There's just no way people, uh, you know. If I get it from collectors, I've been saving them for a long time. They're awesome condition I mean this is great this is not the greatest condition but um, 
it's from World War II, and it was pretty useless back then. It's it's amazing that any of them got saved, and the, most of them didn't. And that's why it's so expensive now. And I hope before I leave, I'm gonna get that 500 peso note. We're looking at a grand to two grand, but it'll be worth it if I can get a deal that's less money than what I can buy on eBay or collectors in the states. Then I'll do it. But we'll see. So yeah, just a quick update. There you go. Hope you like my uh, first slab coin. And that's in the Philippines. One centavo. Um, what do you guys think? And if you know a lot about Philippines, tell me about these notes. What are they worth? Is it worth getting graded? Because, I mean, they would grade at a 65 or more. I mean, they're brand new. And I got like 10 of them for nothing. So, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow with a bunch more cool notes. Later.